My dear friends, may I point you today to the second commandment of the Decalogue. Very few people know what it is. Here it is. Thou shalt not make any graven image or any likeness of anything in heaven above or in the earth beneath or in the waters under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down or serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generation, to the grandchildren, and showing mercy and love to thousands of generations of them that love me. What's it about? It's warning us about the manner of our worship. God is spirit. Jesus said we must worship him in spirit and in truth, not through material representations. How tragic that this commandment is omitted in hundreds of millions of catechisms around the world and the tenth is broken up into two. But this commandment is tremendously important. It warns against false gods and false methods of adoring God. False gods, wealth, fame, pleasure, power, knowledge. Wealth takes wings, fame is a breath, love is often a cheat. Youth, health and pleasure vanish. But the majority of earth worship these false gods. And God wants to save us from the eternal loss that such a sin necessitates. This commandment is warning us against the breach of the everlasting covenant. In both testaments we read, I am your God and you are my people. If we break the second commandment by idolatrous worship, we break the everlasting covenant. The distinguishing thing about Israel was monotheism, one God. Both Roman Catholicism and Protestantism have endorsed that Jewish truth and science has endorsed it. The world does not have many gods, does not have many rulers, but the commandment is telling us that we must love God spiritually in the mind, in the heart, and it will be manifest in every word and every deed. Remember, this doesn't save us, but it shows us how we live when we've accepted the gift of salvation. God bless you.